So the Green Army have pushed into Westport Docks. This port is connected to the ruined city of Greenington. General Grattan Jr. and his armies have been tasked with pushing the Blue Armies out of Greenham once and for all. The Blue defences are ready and awaiting for the Green attack. The Blue AA guns, however, do mean that the Greens do not have any air support. Rumour has it that the South Towns were behind the whole operation, which is Operation False Throne, which has been going on for quite some time now. The objective is to push the Blues into the sea and also kill the Tan General before he escapes on his civilian vessel. So right here we can see that we have Green Special Forces making their way into Westport Docks. We did see them from a previous video. They snuck through the mountains, I think there was two companies of them. And these guys have just ambushed the absolute crap out of uh, these blues right here. So we can see that the blues are waiting to get up on these civilian vessels over here to try and get out of Greenland and back to their homeland. The guy who is in command of this whole operation, I'm going to let you guess who this guy is, look. We're going to go over to him, he's, he's over here somewhere, where is he? He's right here, look. Can anybody in the comment section guess this guy? Timestamp me because I am going to be telling you guys at the end of the video. We need to try and get to this guy as the greens to try and uh, yeah defeat the Tans and the Blues once and for all in Operation False Room because this has been dragging on for quite some time now we need to get it over and done with so yes we can see from the battle map anyway we can see that there's going to be a ton of soldiers like I say approximately two companies of Greens which are going to be attacking from the flank and then furthermore we're going to be seeing a lot of infantry under the command of General Grattan Jr and also General Fitzgerald approaching from this direction right here and they're going to be pushing their way through the docks if they can get through the blue defenses that is and trying to kill or capture our uh, tan general the, the mastermind behind this whole operation so the commander of these soldiers right here is a guy from the discord i believe his name is mr john cream um he is here somewhere i don't know where he is though tell me if you can spot him he looks a little bit different from the rest but yeah, do throw me some ideas in the comment section because I do want to try and include some of your own characters in this series. And also, I'm back. I know it's been a while. Um, I had to take a break because my uh, mental health wasn't too good, to be honest. I was just uploading and I was just um, my head was just numbers all the time and I wasn't really cleaning or anything around the house. So I've just got to... I've had to take a couple of weeks off to just try and get back on track of things. But look at these blues. This is awesome. Whoa! The vessel! What happened? It full on titanic onto the pier. Okay, it just provides extra cover for the blues. Not a big deal. The greens are pushing through. So this is a flanking maneuver right here. If we look over here as well, look, we can see that the blues do have a further defensive line, which the greens didn't know about. It's a trench dug out on this side of the hill. So that means when the huge green advance comes, which is happening right now, look, we can see detachments from Mr. Fitzgerald and also, so, and also the Grenfield Guard. I think they're the two units that we said was invading this uh, this port right here to try and push the blues away and um, the generals are in the battlefield as well you're going to see them very shortly and uh, yeah they're, they're, they don't give any they, 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 they don't give a crap to be honest they just uh, walk into the battlefield and don't give in uh, give a toss pot to be fair <laughs> they're, they're just they're really brave and um, right so these blues down here these have anti-aircraft guns which means that the greens do not have any air support for this because they would just get shut down because I mean, realistically, we're talking about the Greens right here. They'd just be flying in an A-10, they'd drop a bomb on the Tan General, and then it'd be over. But let's be realistic, you know, they've got AA guns, and we want to have a cool battle, so... Yeah. We can see artillery is absolutely pounding the blue lines right here. They've dug some trenches inside these uh, concrete pots here. They've also commandeered some of, the, um, so, some of these cannons right here, look, some of these uh, artillery pieces. The artillery is doing really well. That it's shelling absolutely everywhere, trying to soften up the defences for this huge advance from the Greens. Uh, we can see that the Green Cavalry has arrived now. The battalion of Sherman, not not Shermans, um, M1A1 Abrams. This is the M1A1, not the M1A2, I believe. So we could be doing some upgrades to these in the future. Let me know in the comments um, what tanks the Greens should have, as well as the Blues as well. The Blues are going to have a lot more vehicles and stuff in the future as well. So we have a lot planned for Army Men of War in the coming weeks. Um, I do want to try and summarise Series 3 and we're going to try and move to something completely brand new. Still the same story, still the same lore and stuff, but in a completely brand new fashion I think we're going to 
we're going to start doing things in a new way and try and spice things up a bit on this channel. So I'm excited for that. We can see that the Blues have actually surrendered. Look, they put their hands up. They're like they're not having that. I think I'd surrender as well if uh, if I saw that many Abrams tanks coming after me. Yeah, put your hands up. So what they're going to do is now the Greens are going to come over and they're going to secure these Blue soldiers now, and they're going to march them out of the map. We've just got to wait though. That's quite a lot that was surrendered to be honest. Yeah, this Humvee is just securing them now. Look. We've got the Humvees now moving forward as well. Whoa, look at all those blues as well. Look, so many surrendered. I guess they just didn't stand a chance, really. But we have the second line of blues to get through as well, which could take quite a long time because there's quite a lot of them. Then again, the artillery has softened them up quite a bit. Let's have a look how the special forces are doing over here. We've got uh, special forces are moving in now, and they're pushing through towards our... Uh, Tan VIP, our HVT over there, look. So if we look at the timer, we've got 15 minutes until he escapes. So we've got 15 minutes to get the green soldiers over to... Uh, shall I just say it? I think I'm just going to say it. Okay. So this general, if you didn't guess it in the comments already, is General Shawshank. So if you guys remember, he did fall, I think it was at the Battle of Tamburger Hill. And the Tans did take him under their own arm. And they actually replaced his legs with robot legs. Look, look at that. He looks so cool. That's why he's green, he's got like a tan hat. But that is what is left of General Shawshank after yeah, after he got blew up and shot up at uh, the Battle of Tamburger Hill. I believe there is also a leader of the Azul Legion here as well. The Azul Legion, I believe you guys call it. And I think her name, what's her name? Yeah, I forgot her name. I I'll get the name up right here, if I remember, that is. But yeah, you guys, uh, you named her. And she is also protecting the Tan General right here, because I, I guess that's what he is now. General Shawshank is now a Tan General, whereas he used to be a Green General. Be sure to go and watch the older videos if you haven't already, because this every episode connects, like I say. Um, this, this series has actually been going on. It's probably the most persistent series on YouTube, if you ask me. It's been going on for around three years now. Every episode connects to the next. Um, it's all in the same world. So it's all connected through interdimensional travel. It's just, it's just an epic series, and I want to keep it going for as long as I can. So as long as you guys are still watching this, I'm going to keep pumping them out. And now that I'm back as well, I'm feeling a lot more hyped up for it. I think sometimes you just need to take a break. So if you want me to tell you who these guys are, we've got the Grenfield Guard, which I believe are the light green ones here. Uh, or is that the Green Eastern Guard? No, I think the Green Eastern Guard are the dark green ones here. Then These guys are classed as National Guard. And a big shout out to Nyrock because he's the guy that helped me design these and they look pretty epic. We've also got like, uh, it's like an all-inclusive mod. We've got like the World War II variants. We've even got some GI Janes in here, look. See, the women are getting involved. It's not just army men of war, it's army women of war. So the blues are holding down just as expected right here. So even if the blues are still alive towards the end of this battle and we manage to kill or capture um, Mr. Shawshank over there, look. We, it is still a victory for the Greens because those Blues just would have nowhere to go. They'd just be sandwiched and killed. Got a right gunfight here. It's like Call of Duty plastic. They're pushing through though. We've still got a long way to go and we still have another 12 minutes 42 seconds until the um, general has opportunity to escape on one of these civilian vessels and that is because if he was to escape on a military vessel um, we do have the green navy which would just be outside there and they'd shoot it down so he'd have more chance of escaping in one of these civilian vessels because he could just hide somewhere on board or something and get out of here so depending on what happens in this video will depend on what happens to general shawshank i guess um, I think uh, this is probably going to be his last stand because if you look, we've still got 12 minutes and they're already this close. Look. But then again, look at the blues. The blues are absolutely caning them. These are blue marines. Let's have a look at the front line. We've also got a warrior, I believe. Is this a warrior? I can't remember what this tank is called. I think it's a warrior. But yeah, they, they go for like a sort of British vibe, the blues do. They love the British stuff. Whoa! The blues really put a stop to. The Abrams tanks over here. I think it's because of these um, bazookas they have. Well, it's not a bazooka, it's more of a paladin. 
These things are proper anti-tanks. One shot kill on any tank really. And these are like the elite of the elite of the green tanks now as well. We are now in the modern era really. We don't know what we're going to be seeing from all the nations in the future. Especially if we end up visiting the human dimension again. We've got a lot of greens though. I think we've got like a full company of greens. A bit of a mix between the Grenfell Guard and the Green Inton Guard look. And they're trying to push over this hill now. But this is like a ridge. I, I tell you what, you guys in the comments, you guys name this ridge. This is a battle in itself right here. Oh, here we go. Here comes our generals, look. Like I said earlier, look, these guys have just got balls of steel. Plastic balls of steel. They're just marching into the map. And they don't even care, look. I mean, these guys can die as well, so if they get hit with a missile or something, these three are like, oh, speaking of missile, did you see that? It just like flew right past his head. Got all the stray bullets as well, so let me introduce them. So we've got General Grattan Jr. He's at the front. Then we've got General Fitzgerald. He's right there, I believe. And yeah, then we've got another general. I think he's in charge of the Grenfell Guard. Um, I don't really know his name, so maybe you guys could help me name this guy in the comments. He's probably going to survive as well, so that means we could probably use him in a future episode, which is pretty neat. So we've got the greens still pushing on the blues over here, look. The lag is slowly dying now, look. Which is pretty epic. Missiles flying through their heads. I think they've completely overwhelmed the center. Gotta love farming men of war. And men of war's physics as well, look at that crate in the background. This is just epic to watch. Sometimes, if I do go quiet, it's because I'm enjoying the battle. It's just so cool to watch. I just love, I just love green fights. They just look so cool. They've actually met up now with the special forces as well. These are the Thunder Force, I believe, named by you guys again in the Discord. If you want to join the Discord and take part in this series as well, throw your ideas out and all stuff like that. I will leave a link in the description to the Discord, a direct link. So be sure to click it. Come and join the community. I think we're over 1,400 members, something like that now. Which is kind of crazy, really. So many of you just role-playing as plastics in my universe. It's just really weird. Imagine just coming up with an idea, right? And creating a little lore. Then having such a following. I think we're at like 40... I think we're at like 47,000 subscribers now. And it's just amazing that this is like the main thing we do on this channel. So I feel like the majority of you guys are probably subbed because of Army Men of War. Tell me in the comments, why did you subscribe to this channel? Let me know. These tanks are just wrecked. Like, these are just complete write-offs. There's just no repairing these things. Look, I'm just going to melt them down. A combination of plastic and metal molded together. The center is completely taken. We've got Humvees rolling around now, still securing it. Let's see if they've managed to secure. Oh no, they've not managed to secure down here yet. We do have a few greens down there, though. I mean, let's just try. A grin oh no, he's going to do it on his own, okay. Good thinking, soldier. The AI is actually not as bad. Oh no, he put it away. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, we're going to get it out again already. Pull your grenade out. Let's see if we can get a damn good shot off on these tams right here. There we go. See that? There we go. Now that's kind of realistic. Just throw grenades over. It killed like one dude though. Bearing in mind that these are the shock force. I think this is the 75th shot force of Malice. I think it's Emperor Malice now. He was a general, but they, the Tans have voted him Emperor of South Vietnam. And they had a lot of involvement in Operation False Throne. And I had no idea right here. Uh, to, to be honest, it was my team, Val, shout out to you dude, who helped me come up with the idea of Shawshank actually being the mastermind behind this whole attack because how else could the blues and all that pull off an attack like this? They'd have to know Greenland, wouldn't they? They'd have to know secrets, they'd have to know intel. And that's kind of why the Tans took um, Shawshank and made in their own because they just know that he's a good general. And uh, I'm, I, do you know what? I'm, I'm hoping that he survives this battle. I don't think he's gonna because we've got another seven minutes yet until he escapes. But if he escapes, let me know what we can do with him in the future. He could just disappear. Um, like I say, you still got to get home yet. You might not even make it home. Wouldn't it be funny, right, if after all of this, 
after everything that he's been through. Look, I mean, look at the state of him. Look, I mean, I'll get up another picture. This is what he used to look like right here. Yeah, and that that's what he looks like now. So, uh, if he's been through everything, he's been he's been to hell and back. He's been betrayed by his own nation. He betrayed his own nation, and uh, he's fought on the front line multiple times. He fought in the first Great Plastic War as well, which we're going to be doing some videos on very soon. Oh, look at this. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't be funny if he just died at sea or something. He got an electric shock in his robot legs. So yeah, they're really putting pressure on the right flank now. Just what they needed, because there's a lot of blue still here as well. They've still got some artillery here though. And they also have their AA guns intact. And what is that? Is that a, that was a bulldog over here? They've actually stole a green MG and put it on there. Let's see how we're doing. These guys aren't phased at the minute. You've got uh, the Azor Legion here, look. You can see by their uniforms. Um, under the command of Gwen, I believe her name is. And uh, Gwen Baylor, I think her name is. That's it, Gwen Baylor, I remembered it. And uh, yeah, this is the Azor Legion, so she was also commanding some of the blue forces around this area. This battle's been going on for quite some time now. And like I say, this part is connected technically to Greenington. They used to be two separate towns in the law, but over the years, as they got bigger populations, they just merged, and Westport became Greenington, and Greenington became Westport in a way. The Humvees are really trying to cover their soldiers. How long do we have until... Five minutes! We've got five minutes until the uh, general escapes. To, to live another day. I mean, if he does, it's going to be crazy because he survived so much. We really expected this to be a giant punch in the jaw to uh, Mr. Shawshank. Then again, I don't think he'd feel it with all that metal on him now. But, uh, yeah. If he survives this, then we're just going to have to try and kill him another day because the dude's a beast. We've got a huge swarm of greens over here swarming these... Uh, these blues. So this is the first time that I've seen this in, in the thousand playtests that I did creating this map and mission. Um, they never actually did what I'm doing right, what, what I see right now. It's crazy, right? Believe it or not, the blues actually held out really, really well. We still have another Abrams as well. I wonder if he's going to roll through his factory. They kind of do need him. It'd be a great flanking maneuver. He's doing it as well. Oh, the infrastructure though. Greens aren't going to be too happy about rebuilding all this. Millions of millions of plastics. How many blues do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Why have we well, got tans down here? 75th we've been down here. We've got a bazooka as well, so yeah, we're fully covered right here. And there's a nice little choke point as well, so that means not many greens are going to be getting through here. You can see all the helmets. Just, that's, every one of those helmets once belonged to a man that was alive, but now, now they're not. Now they're dead. They're disintegrated. And if you want to know how many soldiers actually attacked this as well, I believe it was 2,000 greens we scripted to attack this area right here, which is about right with the law as well. Like I say, it's the whole of Greenland now coming down on just a handful of blues that were left in this port. They refused to leave and they got cornered in. The only way that they can escape is through civilian boats and that's their plan of action right now. So they're trying to cover their leader. Wow, look at this. Special Forces got hit really bad over here. I'm not too sure if this Humvee is still active. We might have to just leave them there. Alright, we have 2 minutes 51 seconds to try and kill General Shawshank all the way over here. Look, we've not even got to him yet. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Right, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to swarm them. We're going to get this tank. And we are going to manually now order this tank on Shawshank's position. We're going to see if we can do it. We've got two minutes now. Two minutes. Can the greens do it? I'm going to let the AI play it out. It's just that I'm just going to guide him in the right direction. Like that look. So he's going to do all the shooting and everything like that. Because I know some of you guys don't like it when we take control of them. Oh. Took out by the building right there. But we really need to try and get Shawshank before he escapes. At this point in time, I believe everyone would be like, Oh god, his boat's nearly ready. 
They're loading it up. He's gonna leave. Come on, you got this. Come on. It's gonna squeeze him through here. He's in. It's all you, man. It's all you. Abrams versus Shawshank. Who will win? We've got 1 minute 41. This tank, this tracks are still active as well. Yes, here we go. Look. Are they going to fight it? Okay, okay. You guys, I'm just going to order you guys right now to just take this tank out because that's what they do. And that's it. I'm just going to watch them do it now. So they're coming after the tank. Oh no! I feel sorry for that blue. No idea what happened there. This is shooting his anti-tank gun. Look, you've got uh, Gwen Baylor right here. She's just finishing the tank off. Doesn't give a rat's ass look. Oh, the tank's still active. One lucky shot. One lucky shot. You got this. Fifty-five seconds. I thought that tank was a goner. We've got two Humvees also supporting them. There's blues right behind you, dude. And the rest of the special forces are now moving up as well. Only thing is, though, because the tank fell down there, I don't think there's any way that you can actually get back up. I mean, there is the stairs, but can tanks climb stairs? Let me know in the comments. I think they actually can because they've got tracks, haven't they? I don't know why I said that. No, this is definitely... 18 seconds. Oh, they got a shot off, though. 15 seconds. Can they do it? Will Shawshank live to see another day? He's going. He's off a lot. You'll just see him disappear if he, if he manages to survive. Yep, and he's gone a lot. So is his boat. So Shawshank has escaped. I was not expecting that to be honest. I was expecting this to be a complete green slaughter. But as you can see, the blues are really held down in that center. Let's just try and storm this position now. We've got this. We're going to sandwich it just like we, did, like we said we was. Realistically, they would surrender now anyway. There's just there's no hope for them at all. But it's just this little ring right here. Oh, did I see a ring? It's a square. Right, I think what we'll do here, I think we're going to pull our troops back and we're going to start discussing surrender options because they've got nowhere to go. They're cut off from the rear, they're cut off from the front, there's just no way of them escaping. It's just a handful of dudes now, they're even securing the position, look. I mean, even Gwen Baylog left as well, I think, the leader of the Azor Legion. You guys in the Discord will know what I'm talking about. You like to make characters up all the time. Special forces moving in. So if it was just like a minute later, or two minutes later, they would have actually apprehended him. Killed or captured uh, General Shawshank once again. I think you just execute him after that. Then again, you just take one look at him and you just shoot him because he doesn't even look like he's a human anymore, does he? Okay, so that's been taken out. Greens are rendezvous in the centre. This is a win. This is a definite win for the Greens. The only ones left are these blues right here. I kind of want to watch them. But they've got all of these Greens pushing on them up. Wouldn't it be funny if the blues actually just managed to just hold off the whole army of Greens and killed them all? I guess this is kind of a blue victory at the same time as a blue loss. So it's a green victory because the greens have managed to push the blues out of their country once and for all. And I'd say it's a, also a blue victory because the blues managed to get their general out. Then again, maybe they didn't want him to go out. Maybe the blues told him to make his last stand right here. Who knows? Let me know in the comments because we write this uh, we write this series together. I don't like to write it on my own. I like you guys to contribute ideas and also change the direction of where we go with the um, each episode so anyway i'm mighty map one two three i hope you enjoyed this episode like i say i am back do be sure to smash that like button and also drop the bomb on that subscribe button and uh yeah i will see you all in the next video